Welcome back to Exchange Street Capital. I'm Rick Allenbach. Today we're in the series of Head, Heart, Wallet, and Watch. We're going to talk about the wallet. This Costanza style beefy piece of meat is actually my wallet and no we're not going to talk about this today. Uh, what we're talking about is the understanding of what you spend your money on, why you spend your money on that, and what value it brings you. Okay. Uh, so we talk about cost versus value. The easiest way for me to do that in my background is the stock market. So briefly, if we talk to, about a stock like Lockheed Martin, defense contractor, established, profitable. $400 a share, earns $21 per share, price to earnings or P-E ratio of 18. 18 is low. Now I'm not trying to confuse you, we'll get into personal finance in a different segment, but but understand that the S&P 500, or the 500 largest companies in the country, have a PE of about 26. So that's, well, I would consider that a cheap stock, even at $400 a share. If we compare that to, say, Faro Tech, which is a fictitious stock from one of my favorite movies, Boiler Room, uh, Faro Tech, let's say, loses $4 a share. There is no PE because it doesn't have any earnings, and it trades at $10. I'll tell you that Lockheed Martin is way cheaper um, than Farotech. It doesn't look like that in terms of cost, but it is. We'll get into why in another, in an, in another video, but my point is cost versus value, um, 400 versus 10, but yet there's no comparison. So when we un if we understand that, if what things cost us but what value they provide us, the earlier in life we do that, the better, right? But it's never too late. That's the kind of the point of this whole diatribe I'm going on. The first video was a little longer than I wanted it to, but guess what? I'm long-winded. Um, like an example, my son wanted to spend $100 on his 2K20 Xbox uh, video game, you know, the, the basketball freak, and, I, and he had $100. Bucks. He had a $100 bill in his little safe. So I said, that's fine. Give me your hundred and you can spend it. Well, all of a sudden, he didn't want to. Well, no, no, no. That's my. I don't want to waste my hundred on on the game. I want to spend your money. I said, well, see, you heard. You said the word waste. Said, no, not waste. But I want to. I want to say that for something else. Well, I said, then you can't have it. And he kind of understood what I meant. And since then, we've been building on that to try to help him. Or when I was a young guy, we'd be at the be at the boardwalk or we'd be at the shore and. Some of us would get twenty dollars. My friends that are still my friends today, twenty dollars for the night, and and some would save that money, and some would buy it on, spend it on like no fear hats with the suede brim, if you remember those. Um, and that, you know what are they worth today? And, and that twenty dollars if you get you saved. So even at an early age, you can do that. So that's great. You know, most times true value takes time. So that twenty dollars that was saved from the shore, or not spending the hundred dollars and under, uh, on the video game that gets you zero value out of it, it takes time to realize that, but it's there. Um, if if we take time to understand the foundation of our mission through all of the things we have to spend money on, uh, that's the key to success in the wallet portion. What do I mean by that? I mean our discretionary spending. Well, listen. I am not going to sit here and tell you, I love what I see on the internet or from so-called specialists, the, the greatest budget ever, stop spending money on Starbucks coffee and that $3 will be saved and you can put it into something authored by John Nobody. Like, it's silly, right? The, the, it has to make sense. You still have to have happiness in your life. This coffee isn't going to make or break you. If you're spending 20 bucks on Starbucks every day and you make, uh, you know, 15 bucks an hour, maybe that's a maybe that's a, de a decision you have to make, change. But overall, if you're having, if you whatever you make per hour, and you're having a cup of coffee, that's not going to make or break you. But discretionary spending is important. You have to look at everything. Reverse engineer what you're spending your money on. Create your own budget. Don't go by somebody else's budget. Don't go by, you know. Greatest budget by this guy. Um, investments, advisors, whether you need one or not. We're going to talk about that in a different segment. I have a lot of friends that are advisors in the institutional and retail setting. Um, it's not that they're bad. It's just what what fees are you spending and, and what are you getting.
banking relationships, your use of credit cards, why you use them, how they use them, etc. Um, CPAs, lawyers, charitable donations or civic or, or civic donations, anything that has to do with with you spending money. These things are all good things. A lot of them are needed, but understanding that is important. I, I read a term the other week called Henry. Um, you know, high earning, not yet rich, and I thought that was a pretty good, cool term. Um, these are folks that have the arrow, have everything pointing in that right direction. Um, again, we can't get a little pregnant, so some of them will come to me and they'll, and they'll say, well, I'm going to start investing, Vanguard has a $3,000 uh, minimum or a $10,000 minimum for X or what have you, so I'm going to wait till then. Wrong. The, again, we talk about process, we talk about mission, we talk about all those things. I don't care if you're making eight bucks an hour, I don't care if you're making $800,000 a year. You have the things that are important. If we talk about discretionary spending, if we talk about the things, you know, life insurance and, and, and owning a car and a home and investing and disability and all the things to protect yourself, your family, you, to get you the things you want, um, you put those in buckets and, and, and you point, even if it's a little bit drips and drabs, per month, uh, you've got things almost to, in the point where it's set it and forget it. Um, and it's, not, it's, it's not forget it, it's set it and look at it every once in a while. But it's going. Don't wait. Don't wait. There are fabulous websites that I'll put down in, in the link, um, like stash.com, acorns.com, um, that help you save with small amounts of money. Fidelity, for my money, is the best trading platform, just, just for the record in terms of actually going all in, but those other two are great. With FinTech, there's, there's e-REITs, there's, and I'll, I'll put a few that are my favorite in, in, the, in, the, in the bottom, in the comment section. Uh, a REIT is, of course, Real Estate Investment Trust. There's ways to diversify that are fantastic. Uh, so when we set money aside systematically for all that matters to, to us, um, it, it, it helps with the mission. It helps build it, regardless of what you start with. Um, we have things pointing in the right direction and the foundation that is built to grow. Real wealth isn't about money at all. Um, it's about understanding value and time. So it's about wallet and watch. Okay, I, I, it, it, it's about buying um, buying back your time by you know I, I investing in things that create income so that you can be free to do whatever you want in life. Those are important things. Um, how do we do that? We'll get into that in, the later, in, in a later episode in terms of passive income strategies, active income strategies, investing, etc. But for now, understand, you know, the, the, you know, and it's not just about <clears throat> throwing it into Fund A and, and, and uh, you know, and, and, and saying, and, and when your friends ask, well, how are you doing, how, how's the market treating you? Well, what, you know, where do you have your money in? It's a way. No, understand what you're investing your money in. Understand what makes you happy and that things have to make you happy. You must have discretionary income, like I said, whether you make 15 bucks an hour or $1,000 an hour. Um, but understand how we do that and that the wallet helps control happiness. Um, in terms of our overall mission. Thanks again. Check us out next week for the uh, watch portion and we'll continue to roll.